this week's video tutorial, what I wanted to do was do another flower video, so I decided to show you how I make my gum paste calla lilies. Okay, so to make your calla lilies, what we're actually going to need is some cutters. I've also got a veiner that came in the same set, so I'm going to use those. Um, I've got a little sponge um, to use with the veiner, some edible glue, my foam mat, um, some corn flour, my rolling pin, some paintbrushes and my ball tool, um, some wire, this is 18 gauge wire, um, just my wire tools, um, something to heat the wire with. I've got my floral paste down here, um, just some yellow um, gel paste, I've got some petal dust, um, some yellows and some greens and also what I've got is a mixture here of caster sugar and some granulated sugar. Okay so what we're going to do is just start with the centre of the flower. So I'm just going to take some of the yellow. What you want to do is take your cutter and you want the centre of the flower to come up about a third of the cutter. So we're just going to roll it so it's slightly fatter at the bottom and comes into a slight point at the top. Just measure. Okay, so now we've got our um, centerpiece for the flower. What I'm going to do is just take a piece of the wire and just fold that over. And then I'm just going to heat that up. that's hot I'm just gonna poke that in the end okay so what I've actually done is just colored the um, castor sugar and the granulated sugar with some yellow gel paste so we're gonna put that on just so it looks like um, some pollen on the middle of the flower so I'm just gonna put some edible glue on the flower just leaving the bottom just dip that in picking up the sugar. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just roll some white petal paste out. Okay, so I've got that about one millimetre thick. So what we're going to do is just cut out the larger petal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take the um, the white petal that I've just cut out and place that on top of the veiner and I'm just going to take a sponge and just push the veiner into the gum paste. So you've got your um, kind of texture on there. Now that's going to be the inside of the flower so what you want to do is flip it over and then take in your large bottle, we're just going to run that round the edge of the flower or the edge of the petal just to fan that out and stretch that gum paste which will allow us to fold the edges over. Now where you've got the point at the end what you want to do is just thin that out and then pull backwards which is going to give us the point and with these ones what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fan out the bottom slightly just to make it slightly bigger um, as these ones come up quite small at the bottom. So there we go. Flip that over. I'm just going to apply some edible glue to the bottom and just down this one side that we're going to wrap over and a tiny bit down that side. And you want to take your um, flower centre that we've covered in the sugar and just place that just so it's about half a centimetre above the bottom. And you want to fold that petal over and then roll roll it over so that the other side meets. What we've got is we've got this extra bit at the bottom. I'm just going to twist mine just so it comes off and then just using the small ball tool I'm just going to use that to close the gap and to neaten it up slightly. It is just go around and where we found out those edges just roll those over and as you can see we've got the point that comes down so we just want to roll those edges and just roll the front open slightly 
Right, now we've got the actual shape of the flower with the center, what we wanna do is just put that on a dry mac just to dry. So um, depending on kind of where you are, it might take a couple of hours or you might wanna leave them overnight before we dust them. So we're just gonna hang those upside down just so they keep their shape. Okay, so once your calla lily has been left to dry for a while, this one is just kind of pliable, so if you needed to turn it over slightly more, you just could. Um, but what I've got here is some petal dust, so I've got a couple of shades of yellow and a couple of shades of green. And what I'm gonna do is, with the yellow, just mix those up, and then just push the paintbrush around the center just so you get the effect that some of the pollen has come off and then what I'm going to do is turn it over and then using the two greens I'm just going to dust some of that on the base of the flower just coming up just with the excess just bring that up slightly and there we have your calendar I really hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more of my video tutorials, then please click subscribe. If any of you watched my last video on how to make New Year's Eve cake pops, you'd have seen that I gave away a free printable sheet where you could cut out discs and these would have a new year. Now I realise this is a little bit outdated now, so I've created a new sheet for you to download which says happy birthday. If you want to get that sheet, then head over to that video and I've put the new link in the description.